Well, time for the closing argument. Although, honestly, this was incredibly unsatisfying for me. It, it really was. Um, Better water bottle, what then? The killer forged two letters. Pretty anime girl. Yoko at the beach house. Um, no, wait. Wait, how, how did I get the hint? Oh, alright, it's on there. On the morning of the incident, Mayuru met. Well, Hiyoko, but that's not it. In order to lure Mahiru and... Yep. To forge the letters. The first one to arrive at the beach house was... Hiyoko? Well, other than the killer, of course. Next one, that's Mahiru. We don't have her yet. What did the killer leave next to the body? A pretty anime girl mask, for some reason. Now time to wash off the blood. What's this? Uh, where should I hide? So that's here? Okay, stock two. Let's go back to the start. Because there might be things from the start that we can now fit in. Mihiru met... Yoko? Oh no. Because this is Yoga waking up from the thing. So that that that's not okay. Uh so next one is Mayuru. Who then got killed. Um where should I hide? That's not it. First one who found the body was Hiyoko who woke up. Hiyoko left a big piece of evidence, the footsteps in the sand. In the closet after Yoko ran away, the gummy was placed. To retrieve the bamboo sword, I must do this. Tie it to the bag. Um, and there's probably gonna be one more over here. No? No, there's not. Okay. So then we have the hiding, which is gonna be this one. And finally, this Yoko at the start. I'm just really unsatisfied with this one. Like, they repeated basically having a serial killer, which is really lame in my opinion. I'll, I'm gonna talk for a little bit before I put it in. And then also... I... I don't know, it just... To use all those water bottles, that, that seems very inconvenient. And the climb that seems like a bit of a stretch to step and then tie the bag sort back to it and i feel like it's also such a missed opportunity to you know it has the wetsuits over in the uh in the closet at the start of the game sonia is in a bathing suit no worries about a sunburn at all and now she mentions oh i wear a wetsuit to avoid a sunburn that should arise suspicion, and it did for me, but then it it just doesn't mean anything. And I feel like that would have been so much more satisfying than what it actually ends up being, because this doesn't fit Pekko at all, in my opinion. And it's also just repeating like, hey, we have a secret serial killer once again. Like, it's it's a bit repetitive. I, 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 it just feels unsatisfying to me, unfortunately. But there we go, that's everything.事件の始まりは今朝のことだ。小泉が西園寺に声をかけたところからだった。きっと小泉は動機として与えられたトワイライトシンドローム殺人事件をプレイして自分と同じようにゲームの登場人物だった誰かにその内容について相談したかったんだ
小泉と西園寺のそれぞれに偽物の手紙を送ったんだ小泉には14時30分にビーチハウスへ来てほしいという内容の手紙を送り一方の西園寺には14時ちょうどにビーチハウスへ来てほしいという内容の手紙を送ったそうやって約束の時間を別々にすることで2人をバラバラにビーチハウスへとおびき出したんだその手紙にまんまと騙された西園寺は手紙通りに14時にビーチハウスを訪れそこで待ち構えていた犯人によって眠らされてしまったんだ西園寺を眠らせた犯人はすぐに彼女をクローゼットの中に隠した後で彼女を犯人に仕立て上げるためにだそしてそのまま14時30分になると今度は小泉がビーチハウスを訪れた自分が殺人の標的として狙われているとも知らずになそんな無防備な小泉に背後から近づいた犯人はある凶器を構えたあの現場に残ってた金属バットだ金属バットは小泉の後頭部に振り下ろされそこで小泉は息絶えた積み木の検視によると小泉は即死だったらしいから犯人が誰かもわからないまま殺されたんだろうなこうして小泉を殺すという目的を達成した犯人はそこから現場の偽装工作を開始したんだまず小泉の死体を引きずって移動させその死体で道路側のドアを封鎖してしまったそれと現場に落ちていた仮面もそこで犯人が自ら残したものなんだろうな理由はわからないけど犯行声明みたいなものなのかもしれない俺たちが死体を発見した時の状況はこうやって作られたんだだけど小泉の死体を動かしたせいで犯人はその返り血を体に付着させてしまったしかもシャワールームは故障中で水が出ないからそれを洗い流すこともできないでもそんなことは犯人の想定内だった犯人は自分の体の血を洗い流すためにシャワー以外の別のものを使ったんだビーチハウスの冷蔵庫にあったペットボトルの水だおそらく一連の犯行に及ぶ前からシャワールームにそれを運んでおいたんだろうな犯人は水の出ないシャワーの代わりにそれで自分の体に付着した血を洗い流したんだただ空になったペットボトルだけはビーチハウスのゴミ箱に捨てるしかなかったんだろう屋外に物を捨てるのは禁止だし別の場所に運ぶのは時間がかかるからなそうやって血を洗い流した犯人は西園寺がいるクローゼットのある場所に隠れたんだ犯人はあらかじめ空にしておいたサーフボードケースの中に隠れたんだよそしてそのまま時間が経つと睡眠薬の効果が切れた西園寺が目を覚ましたクローゼットから出てきた西園寺はかなり動揺したはずだ会う約束をしていたはずの小泉がなぜか目の前で死んでたんだからな西園寺はそのショックと自分が疑われるかもしれないという焦りから慌ててビーチハウスを飛び出してしまったんだそのせいで西園寺は砂浜に足跡を残してしまったんだ全ては西園寺をはめるための犯人の罠だったんだよそして西園寺が立ち去った後犯人はようやくサーフボードケースから出てくると西園寺にさらなる疑惑を向けるため事前に準備していたグミを置いたんだもっとも結果的にはそれが西園寺の疑惑を晴らす手助けになるんだけどなそして最後に犯人はビーチハウスからの脱出に取り掛かったもちろんビーチから出て足跡を残すわけにはいかないから犯人は別のルートでビーチハウスから脱出したんだそれはシャワールームの小窓だただ小窓は高い位置にあるから普通じゃ届かない
犯人がいつも身につけていた竹刀だ犯人はその竹刀の柄に竹刀を入れていた袋を結びつけそして竹刀袋を片手に持ったまま竹刀を踏み台にして小窓に飛び移ったんだそうやって外に出ることができればあとは竹刀袋を引っ張って竹刀を回収するだけだこうしてビーチハウスを後にした犯人は何食わぬ顔で俺たちの前に現れただけど濡れた髪と水着はすぐには乾かないそれを拭くタオルもビーチハウスにはなかっただから犯人は言い訳のために俺たちにこう言ったんだどうだこれがお前が起こした事件の真相だそうだよなエコヤマペコなるほどな Yeah, I'm, I'm still like Even like going through all of the events now again. It doesn't make sense to me that the killer would even hide there under the surfboard or in the surfboard case. Let's say, hypothetically, right? Hyoko wakes up screaming and people run over there, right? Because they hear her scream. She didn't run away, but she like would just scream when seeing the body. Other people would come, body discovery announcement place. Everyone is there except for, well, the killer who's hiding in the surfboard case. Eventually, people are gonna keep waiting there with the body while the trial, you know, the search happens for evidence. And you would just be stuck in the surfboard case indefinitely unless you come out, but then you're very suspicious. Why were you hiding in the surfboard case? So that would make no sense. It makes a lot more sense to just escape. Right after killing、uh, Mahiru. And especially because the only reason that she stayed in the surfboard case was to plant a gummy? Really? That, that was the only reason? That just seems so. Ah,、uh, no. That, 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 that just seems stupid. It, it really, really does. And. It still also doesn't explain why Fuyuhiko got so fired up when it was all about Peko being guilty because he wasn't involved in this at all, right? In the game, he is the guy F who seems to have the biggest grudge and biggest reason to kill Mahiru. And not once during this trial were we like, hmm, hey, that kind of points to Fuyuhiko. Did he may maybe kill her? Not once. That doesn't make any sense either. Like, it. This is probably the most unsatisfying trial that I've played in the Danganronpa game so far. And.、Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just super salty or something that it's Peko and not one of the people that I actually thought. But it just feels. It, it, it doesn't feel like a good trial. It, a lot of things just don't make. A lot of sense in how they were executed and written, in my opinion. But maybe now that we're gonna look a bit more into the motive, it, it will clear up more. And you know, it isn't just, oh, I'm a serial killer who kills people who are bad, and my hero was bad in a game. I don't know. な何言ってんのさ小泉お姉を殺した分際で違う私は正義の名のもとに悪を成敗しただけだ断罪される理由などどこにもないもういいよさっさと投票を終わらせてこの天然土変態女をぶっ殺しちゃおうよ殺されるわけがない正義は決して殺されはしないぞそれはお前たちにもよく分かっているはずだ何を言っているいいか最も大切なものを守るためには大切なものを捨てる覚悟が必要なのだ分かったか分かりません何も分かりません I'm way too me can also I like that Marukuma is still asleep he's like eh boring he's with me you know he's like eh this is unsatisfying <laughs> 
では担当直入人をお前たちには正義を執行してもらう私という正義を生き延びさせるために自分の命を諦めるのだ本気で言ってるのか本気どころか正義だここで私が倒れたら誰がこの世の悪を取り締まるというのださあ自分の中にある正義の心に従うのだそして正義を守るために私を救えおっとと正義を執行しろふ,ふざけんな誰がおめえなんかのためにし死ぬかここでペコちゃんを見逃したらイブキたちが皆殺しにされちゃうじゃないですか偉大なる正義のためであれば多少の犠牲はやむを得まい多少ってそんな安心しろお前たちが命を落として守った正義は決して無駄にはしないぞもう付き合ってらんないよ早く投票して処刑しちゃおうってばあのですけどそ,その前にこのクマよ投票者 What does Sonya want to do before the fight? Yeah, talk to him. I know she was going to get a bit in here. There are, oh, my now, what a mother no sick yours. So you're sick that I saw her no kick up. Put out on that, no, I don't know. So no, but I was a kind of no car. Who said kind of no car? ポッポッポッポッポッワクワクのドキドキだよね Well, it looks like it doesn't matter what Sonya wants because it is indeed the voting time And that does mean Pekko guilty party Well, guess that's just how it is So that is an end to the second class try Oh, so Sonia? Okay, so she is gonna pop up. あの、すみません。もう少しだけ話し合いを続けさせてください。話し合いを続けるって、でも投票は終わっちゃいましたよ。ですけど、どうしても気になって。だって、こんなの絶対におかしいんですって。おかしいとはどういう意味じゃ。Are we gonna get a twist that is gonna is gonna make this trial okay for me? Because I'd be down for that. I'd be down for a good twist. Sonia, don't disappoint me now. ソニアさんは殺人鬼マニアなんかじゃねえぞ。人より少しだけ熱狂的な情熱を注いでいるだけだ。世間ではそれをマニアと呼ぶんす。実を言うと僕も疑問に思ってたんだよね。だってさ、
私が読んでいたあの雑誌はスペイン語の雑誌だったのですですからそこに載っていたキラキラちゃんのセリフも間違いなくスペイン語でつまりキラキラちゃんと遭遇したジャーナリストもそしてキラキラちゃん自体も日本人じゃねえってことかああ And Peko is pretty Japanese I first heard about the serial killer to genocide Jack and Spartan Justice, I assumed they were both from the same country. But that wasn't the case. Okay, that at least alleviates one of my issues, which is that they would repeat the serial killer. Still a lot of issues left it, but let's see what, how, what else gets unraveled here. それでも自分がキラキラちゃんって言い張るなら今の決め台詞を今度はスペイン語で言ってもらえるかなお前にそれができるのか<笑>どうやらこの仮面の剥がれる時が来たようだなだがそれでいい私にとってはもう必要のないものだそして今頃気づいたところでお前たちは手遅れだ私の役割はとっくに終了している私の道具としての役割はもうすべて完了しているのだからな Unless she truly didn't do it and is indeed covering up I mean it is possible let's say that Person X actually is the killer. Person X could have been uh, could have been the one who got the boosts to get out of the window and not leave footprints that way before Peko herself got out that way. The only question remains is why would Peko want to be the accomplice? <laughs> あの仮面はもう用済みだ今の私と同じようになななんだよそれ用済みとか手遅れとかどういう意味だすでに投票を終えた今となってはという意味だ She's not the actual killer then? That, that's the only thing what, why us casting our votes already would matter おいはっきりせんかお前さんの目的を聞いておるんじゃぞ。目的などあるわけがない。私はただの道具に過ぎないのだからな。トゥールズハブアパーパス。ノーグッド。こういう意味なんですか。エコヤマさんが道具ってことはさ。つまり、その
だとすると死体を発見したのは西園寺さんと相田君だけってことになるけどそっかそれだと一人足りないんだねとなれば必然的にあの場にはもう一人いたということになるしかもモノクマがフレキシブルに対応してまでその事実を隠そうとしたってことはそれは裁判の行方を握る重要な手がかりのはずだよ例えば今日は話とかいやそうじゃないおいちょっとああ根本的な考え方からして間違っているな言ったはずだぞ私は道具だとつまり私はそのお方に使われるだけのただの道具でしかないのだ Still, I want to know her motive for that because it doesn't feel right for Pekka to just suddenly be a tool. So, no, that's what the Kumkai no Jiken no de, Dari or Mo Kyoret no Doki or Mote, I don't know what to do. But it is gonna go to Fuyuiko now. He would have the biggest motive, and I was already annoyed that he wasn't used at all, so. This has to be for you. Oh, my Ska, you know, 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 Well, all of Monokuma's motives are strong to some people around here. He's very cunning in that regard. In order to shut it off, Monokuma gave something that proves it to us. It has to be this, right? I'm, I'm guessing this is it. No? Um, it should have occurred. And to prove it, he gave us. I guess then they mean. The cr actual crime scene photo? No? What? That, that proves that it occurred in real life because there's an actual real life crime scene photo of it. How is that not the thing? Unless it, it, it's the ending prize? Oh, come on, then you should just allow it for any of the photos as well. Because it's essentially the same thing. Because the game was completely wrong. It was clear to see the photo of the clear to see the photo of the clear to see the photo of the which is why I tried to show them. The game, the game should have been programmed to allow multiple pieces of evidence to be submitted here, being the ending prize, but also the individual photos, and then um, Hajime would extrapolate from there. ヒセシャになった女子高生が自分の妹かどうかってことは分かってたんだろうだって最初にあのゲームをクリアしてクリア得点を手に入れたやつってあの封筒がそうだったんだろうクリア得点を受け取ったのはお前だったんだよな<
Duh, this seems like the most obvious suspect. So それでもその事実を否定したくてその確認のために写真小泉さんに送りつけたんだねねどうして崩れるの話になってんのそんなのどうでもいいじゃんだってね殺したのはペコ山なんでしょそうなんだよね本当に嘘か投票しちゃいまし